thank you. My name is Oscar Knepres. If you happen to get another great picture of me, this is my handle. And I'm really happy that I'm here on stage for the third time. And I'm trying to give you as much power and energy that I have left to give to you in order to finally quit your job and start a company. OK, Rockstart is all about the love for startups. It's not what they do in terms of funding or building, but it's, the pr it's kind of the message of promise and hope that they have. So we love startups, what they stand for, and what they do. But first, what's going on? There's a lot of things going on, but half a billion entrepreneurs are starting or running a company, a business, a new business. And that's not just something that's happening, it's rising and it's going better and better every day. And why is that happening? It's happening because everything around us is changing. And when I started this company five years ago, I knew that if I, I was going to build something really big, that was the intention, and I knew I, that I had to have this big, hairy, audacious goal, and that was to build the greatest startup machine ever built. So I knew that I had to get back to something that was more like a manifest. So I started jolting down some stuff, and that led to the Rockstar Manifesto, and enjoy. And, if, and you can download it at rockstar.com slash manifesto, and it helps you to get through rough times. Enjoy. Look around you. Everything is changing. Companies, countries, structures, how people work, it's all in flux. We love it. Here's why. We're entering exciting times in an exploding entrepreneurial society. You thought corporations, banks, governments were looking after us? Well, they didn't. You want security? Safety? Stop looking around you. Find it here and now, in yourself. Take charge of your own destiny. This incredible time has made entrepreneurship attractive and more available than ever. It leads to endless opportunities for those ready to grasp it. Go on. Luckily, this change forces us to adopt an adventurous spirit. Embrace change. Love risk. Live with uncertainty. We need to jump into the great unknown, look for adventure, seek out our own opportunities. Like the original explorers pioneered their way across seas and continents, we are faced with few compass points. Pioneers choose struggle. We choose a new route as yet uncharted. This is our adventure. We need to be part of it, to drive it, play with it, start it. When do we grow? Failure pushes us forward. Failure forces us to act. We believe in the power of failure. There's nothing wrong with it, so long as it's fully stretched and undeniably complete. What's worse? The feeling that you should have done more. Keep going. Entrepreneurial spirit is focused on you, doing your thing your way. That's why we love startups. All startups. Starting a company makes you a pioneer, a hero in the making. Startups are challengers, innovators, tenacious, risk positive, visionary, driven, strong. We've pioneered our way to where we are today. We're here to give you rock solid support in the first thousand days. We help you grow by pushing you forward. To start and proceed takes courage. It takes guts, madness even. You take a leap of faith and create your space to challenge, make, build, develop, experiment, construct, and thrive. Now that's why we love you. Step forward. Start. So the last line of this manifesto is our first mantra, Rockstar. So we're building the greatest startup machine ever. So we'll take our time. It could take us 10 years, but we're getting there. So like I mentioned before, for the people who weren't there at, at the marketing and design uh, breakout, maybe we're building something to help startups um, succeed. And um, OK, we started five years ago. So how do we help? This is what we call the Rockstar Cocktail. So if you look at startups, if you ask an entrepreneur, a founder, what he or she needs, they normally say, we just need, give us your money. It's the only thing we need. We know everything else. And 
Well, that might not be the case, especially when they're like early, early stage. So what we know is that any startup in most cases need like mentorship, a place where, where they can connect, where there's peer-to-peer, -peer, uh, it is a lot of knowledge transfer and also access to money, a little. It's especially unlocking the networks of the people that help us to spend that money. So in 2012, we launched our first accelerator uh, and now we're at 58 companies. That was the first one and we specialize in verticals. Web mobile, we did four of those. Smart energy, we did two of those. And those are like the accelerator six month programs. We invest a little money, pizza money, enough to get by in the next half year and a lot of love and coaching and mentoring. And we're launching digital health next week. And what it feels like kind of the, the end of uh, an accelerator is what you see in this little video. This is probably one of the biggest adventures I've ever been on. It's an emotional roller coaster. something I'm always extremely amazed by is people. People's ability to push themselves to the limit and just uh, accomplish even more than they ever would believe they would be able to do in such a short time. Rockstar Accelerator, the stuff that we're most known for, verticals, we're planning to do food next year, food engineering, and we also did an impact accelerator. I'll talk to you about it later. Rockstar Answers, a small Q&A event in a setting like this. Entrepreneur gets on stage and shares his number one questions, biggest challenge, stuff that keeps him awake at night, and they share with the audience, and the audience comes back with like tips and ideas and connections and stuff you have to read or people you have to call. And typically, the entrepreneur goes home with like 200 new insights or business cards. Um, and we built a place in Amsterdam, many people over there. 150 days ago, we launched Rockstar Impact. And uh, Rockstar Impact, that was like, it ended just before the earthquakes in Nepal. And the good news is that yesterday we heard that uh, they already had like one million in follow-on funding. And for people working, building companies in Nepal, that is a big thing. So we're really happy about that. And Rockstar Impact is applying all the things that we learn with helping building startups, uh, tech startups in Europe, and applying that to social, uh, impact, uh, impact on social companies. And we're not taking a stake, it's, it's, it's our karma thing. It's a way to help build companies, and we just make sure that if they get some follow-on funding, they put it back in the program. But every day, and, that, and this is, I guess, the main thing of Rockstar is surrounding yourself with the best people. What we do is surround entrepreneurs, startup people with the best people we can find that help them access their networks. And the face of those people it's our mentors. We have about um, 100 and that's it. You don't have to read it. It's going way too fast, but it's just a feeling that it's the people. It's not the money. It's not the place. It's the people. It's the software that helps them build their companies. Um, right. Okay. We had a lot of plans. We started many things. Uh, but not everything works, so some stuff didn't work, and the stuff that's there is Rockset Accelerator, Rockset Spaces, Rockset Answers, and Rockset Impact. And up until now, we reach out to 1,250 founders helping build their companies since 2011. And the question, of, of course, is does it work? Uh, we think it does. We've invested through acceleration in 58 companies, and if you use the the statistics, like say the, let's say the Silicon Valley statistics of eight out of 10 companies fail within three years. Uh, up until now, of the 58 companies that we've invested in, four failed. So uh, 40, 54 actually not even survived, but are really thriving, are doing pretty good. And there's a lot of companies from many, many countries, and it's, although we're based in Amsterdam, we're attracting many startups from many countries. And check out our site if you really want to enroll in such a thing. And, and the good thing is, 
of course, we have follow-on funding and new jobs created. The type of startups that we invest in, and this is like the rule of thumb, they have to be innovation-driven, technology-oriented, and globally scalable. Okay, Rockstar Answers, we're expanding in Europe. This is like the low-level format, kind of feeling the pulse of what's going on in cities in Europe. And the next thing is, uh, we, uh, my colleague who's doing international, she's 12 hours to the other side, and she's building this thing. <laughs> Okay, enough about Rockstar. What we learn from startups every day, this is the stuff what it's really about, is we learn so many things from startups and what we give back to them or people in spaces like this, you can boil it down to simple mantras, right? And the first mantra you know is step forward, start. And this, and this is like the rest of them and I'll go through them uh, slide by slide, just to give you the general idea of what we learn from startups and what we give back to them and give back to the rest of the world. These are the simple, people love lists, right? And this list more or less boils down to what it is to start a company. So stepping forward and start, I mentioned it earlier, it's not about getting the funding, it's not about, when I started my first company, it was quite common to sit in an attic or in a garage and just work on your business plan don't tell anybody about it, and if your mom asked you what you were doing, you had to have to sign an NDA, a non-disclosure agreement, and then after six months, you went to a bank, and then you told the plan, and you didn't get money. That was more or less the standard thing. The thing of building a company, starting a company, is just this. It's stepping forward and claiming your space and saying what you're committing to to build that company, and the rest is just execution. So step forward, start. And this is what it feels like, because as you, have, as you have seen today, where I'm standing is a little less comfortable than where you are sitting. And this is all about getting out of your comfort zone. And what we feel, and I had a conversation today about getting out of your comfort zone. I tell people, if there's one slide that really tells you what it is to start a company, and if we put everything at Rockstar in one slide, this is it. So if you get out of the space of where you feel comfortable, you get into this ocean of abundance, there, that's where the magic happens. So I can send you this slide, put it on your desktop, because it doesn't feel okay, but it really is the place of abundance. And this is what it looks like, because these are guys at the 2013 Accelerator Selection Days that had to pitch, so we had like 550 applications, the last 25 were pitching to get one of the 10 spots in the Accelerator program, and the guy on the left, this guy, is Brian Garrett, and Brian Garrett worked for a 3D printing company, and he had this great idea of, he had the insight, working at a 3D company, this is stupid, we're producing stuff in one place, and we're shipping it all across the world, and in the meantime, people are buying these 3D printers, we could build something else. And he thought of, an, of a platform to actually connect all the people with all the 3D printers that you have, and start sharing them, like Airbnb for 3D printing. So he pitched the idea. He still had that job at that point when he was standing there, and he was definitely getting out of his comfort zone, and he, de he decided there and then to quit his job, whatever would happen, and start the company. So what happened after that? A year later, he raised 4.5 million to start expanding, and this is last week. They now have 20,000 3D hubs globally open an office in New York, and they still are at the Rockstar building. So for the people that are entering our programs or coming into space, and normally there's like 250, 300 people. They're the heroes because they showed that it's, it's actually possible and what happens when you get out of your comfort zone. Second mantra, team up. Don't do it alone. I never did. I always started alone. My first company, my second, and even this company. But I've seen that it's way, way, way smarter to actually find the right people that are different and that can add a lot of experience and skills that you don't have. So team up, do it, just do it. And this is a big thing because I have a friend, stop talking, a friend who had all the great ideas, Facebook, Twitter, et cetera, et cetera, and he never started. And he, you, you just have to stop talking 
start building. And what we try to emphasize is stop talking, start building, and show it to the rest of the world. So that's where we have Demo Day. And Demo Day, it's, well, I told you this morning, the great thing about having a company with a name like this is you get to make a lot of noise, and this is Demo Day. Good morning, it's demo day. Today is the day that all the startups have been working hard towards for the last 100 days. They've been talking to customers, building their products, finishing the pitch, and they're all ready to get on stage now. I think it's a combination of uh, nerves, excitement, and, uh, and business. There's some people coming from far away to talk. I know there's some people coming from Japan. There's people coming from all over the world to listen to us today. Welcome to the Rockstar Accelerator in May 2014. From everyone here today, who has ever tried and learned a musical instrument? Put your hands up in the air, please. This blindfold prevents me from seeing my audience, excuse me. 600,000 users already and counting. The clock is ticking. We're looking forward to speaking to you. I think it was great. Like all the pitches were insane. Very, very good. And I was very impressed with each and every one of the people Presenting the adventures is great, very, very inspiring. And it's the, it's the start. So everyone thinks that this is the end, but this is just the start. It's the first step we make forward. All right. Uh, the fourth mantra is uh, one of the things I really learned. Uh, if there's one word that you can hear like buzzing around, it's obviously pivot. Pivot is to have the ability to change everything to kill your darlings, to throw away every plan that you had, or even prototypes, working models, anything, betas, learn, pivot, and to start over. Because if you're not able to do that, it will get you later. So you have to be able to learn from every mistake, from everything that you did, and to pivot. And I guess that all of you have read The Lean Startup. I, I never finished it, but The Lean Startup is about pivoting, being able to change everything on a notice like this. And then this is my, obviously my favorite. It's to keep up and to keep going because, okay, Steve Blank, so Steve Blank is one of the most inspiring people that one of the, the teachers, the masters who learned, Eric Ries, the writer of The Lean Startup, many things. Steve Blank said, you know, entrepreneurship, it's hard, but you can't die. You just don't die, so keep up and keep going. and. One of the most inspiring people I know that actually had a business in a different, well, I'll show them to you later, in a different way, kind of a different business. He said, okay, I had to learn new stuff, I had to keep going, and I had to risk myself. Uh, this was Tony Hawk. Pressure has certainly made me perform better. The only way to get recognized was through competition. A lot of people will reach the top of their ranks, and then they just cruise. I had to learn new stuff. I had to keep going. I had to risk myself. That's why I started trying 900. To me, that was the holy grail. A 900 is a skateboard trick. It's basically a two and a half spin in the air. 
The X Games came around 1999 and they had a best trick event. 20 minutes on the ramp, do your best trick. While I was doing it, I didn't care if it counted. I didn't care if there were no people there. I was either gonna make that thing or I was gonna get taken out in an ambulance. I think that's what separates the people who succeed and the people who don't. Those who can really do it when it absolutely counts and pull it out when it seems like all odds are against you. I didn't believe I had made it until I saw everyone rushing around. And that's when I realized that it is. It's not a competition, it's time-based. You just make it happen, you kind of force it. Sometimes you get hurt, but that's the best way to get hurt. A lot of wisdom from Tony Hawk, and the best line is, sometimes you get hurt, but it's the best way to get hurt. Thank you very much for your patience.